Hello, everyone. My name is Lizzie Steib from Kurzgesagt, one of the biggest science and entertainment channels on YouTube. I'm here today to talk about how we scaled from animated videos on YouTube to VR. But before we get to VR, I'd like to give you a brief overview about how we got started with creating educational content in the first place. The founding of Kurzgesagt happened out of the desire to make science more tangible and less boring. Back in 2013, many great education channels from the US were well established on YouTube, but nothing serious from Europe. So the first Kurzgesagt video was an illustrated and animated video that was created as a bachelor thesis and then put on YouTube. And after the video went viral, it was clear our content was hitting a nerve. Kurzgesagt became the animation studio that filled an existing niche back then. Videos that explained complex scientific concepts and topics, but told in an approachable language that focuses on story and humor. Presented in a fun and aesthetic way through flat design illustrations and animation that keeps people entertained, while at the same time applying a highly rigorous standard of research and factual accuracy. So in a nutshell, we created the type of content we ourselves wanted to consume. Smart and inspiring, but also nice to look at. We tend to be slight perfectionists, both in research and design. Our 10-minute videos take an average of 1,200 to 1,800 hours to create. We value the quality of our videos higher than a high release frequency which sets us apart from other more mass-produced science channels. For us, these quality standards are still the guiding principles we follow throughout our whole production process, but they're also what we personally see as the gold standard for our content genre, edutainment, content that is educational, but also entertaining. Over the years, we have branched out and we started to dive into other forms of content creation. For example, physical products like infographic posters, but also short form content, because we believe no matter the medium, these principles stay the same. And the latest medium whose unique possibilities we wanted to leverage is VR. With support from Meta, we were able to collaborate with Shell Games to create a VR experience in the last 12 months. It is based on one of our YouTube videos. It's called Let's Travel to the Most Extreme Place in the Universe. The video talks about the concept of scales as habitats for different life forms. The miniature realm, the microscopic realm, the molecular realm, and the subatomic realm. We are looking at how different these respective worlds look and also work at different scales. People don't have an intuitive understanding about scale and simple numbers don't help. So we try to give people a glimpse of the hidden worlds at our feet by traveling to different scales and using a sequence of comparisons to give them a grasp of the relative sizes of things. Let me show you a snippet from the video. You are the size of a grain of sand, just two millimeters high, standing on a blade of grass that seems as tall as an eight-story building to you. A square meter of lawn is now a dense metropolitan area with 100,000 blades or two Manhattans worth of grass towers. So why did we choose this video as a base for the VR experience? First of all, we are visiting different worlds and seeing how their rules worked, which was the ideal prerequisite to base different levels on. We get to know the miniature realm, the microscopic realm, the molecular realm, and the subatomic realm. Also, illustration and animation allowed us to show visuals and angles that simply wouldn't be possible in real-life action video. You can see an example in this video here. A bee the size of a helicopter lands near you, making the ground shake as its hairy carapace vibrates with each wing beat. You try to escape, but are barely able to move because the air is so gooey. We thought this principle could be even more impressive in VR. So, the concept of scale and different realms of scale gave us our framing, our playing field for the experience. Next, we needed a story. 
So here's what happens. In the experience, you're on a tour of the Kurzgesagt research facilities, and you stumble into the Scale Research Lab. The Scale Lab AI then proudly shows you its invention, Shrinkogen, that lets you travel and manipulate scale. But the presentation goes horribly wrong, and together you have to deal with the four outside creatures threatening the city now. So that's your jumping off point. So what can you do in the experience to solve the problem of the outsized creatures? You can travel between the different scales and experience them yourself by using the scale elevator. Let's see how they act in their natural environment, the insect realm. Off to the insect realm. Welcome to the insect realm. You can also collect and manipulate objects by scaling them up and down. This is a bacteriophage or bacteria eater. I can't believe the wave washed it all the way out here. They're found everywhere. There are bacteria, but this one belongs to another Kurzgesagt lab. Let's grab a capsule and collect it so I can return it. More inverted shrinkogen, but the blast must have been below the malfunction threshold. And you can transfer objects to different scales to solve the problem of the outsized creatures with science. The forces that make water molecules stick together are strongest at the edge of a water drop. So as soon as the drop is so big there's more middle than edge, the water drop breaks apart. Now you got a small glimpse into what the experience looks like and lets you do. Lastly, I would like to talk about what we hope the player will take away from it the key aspects of the experience and where we see the unique opportunities of telling this story in VR. The first and surely biggest advantage is making the concept of scale more tangible by letting the player experience it firsthand. Instead of hearing about the impressive differences of scales and how different these environments feel for organisms of different sizes, the players get to experience these worlds themselves. Here we go. This is how the bacteria set themselves free. That protein is making a hole open in the surface of this protist. And you and I will snatch that concept right up. Excellent. This becomes especially apparent when, as a player, you get to visit places that are unique and unseen to almost everyone, like the molecular realm. Traveling to and maneuvering within a place instead of just hearing about it comes down to a kinesthetic learning approach, a great way to reach different people with all kinds of preferences about how they like to learn things and receive information, through audio, visually, or through physical activities. We also think that this medium is the perfect way to implement the gold standard for edutainment that I talked about earlier. The level challenges involve science-based solutions that instill scientific insights without giving any dry educational vibe. Welcome back to the bacteria realm. We're inside one of the fungal cells called hyphae. This is the part of the fungi that does the growing so it needs quite a bit of energy. See if you can find its energy source. Then there are two very fun aspects that are specific to us, kurz gesagt, venturing into VR, that made this project especially attractive for us. 
One is that we got the chance to extend the narratives we have established within the Kurzgesagt universe, or at least in our videos. Steve, our narrator, is usually the one who calmly delivers the information we provide, and he's considered quite iconic for our brand. In the VR experience, he accompanies you as the voice of the invisible lab AI that is your companion when you solve the challenges of the different levels. This way, Steve gets to leave his neutral role and he becomes his own character in the experience. Wow, it's good to be out again. So much data to be collected. Hmm, but I'm sure you can't wait to try out my invention. Do you see a boxy white tool with a yellow handle? that looks like it could be some kind of blaster. There it is, the multi-tool. He enriches the world we are building by bringing his own motivation and traits to the game. An important aspect of any standalone game, but also a fun Easter egg for any Kurzgesagt fan who gets to experience that di additional dimension. The other thing was transferring our distinctive art style into VR. Flat design is built into the DNA of our brand. And when we first announced that we will be releasing a VR experience, many viewers commented that they just can't imagine how our visuals can be translated into 3D. But actually, we have started to elevate our graphics over the years, and we have been leaning more into 3D sequences in animation. Collaborating with Shell made it possible for us to fully commit to 3D for the very first time, which was super exciting but it also felt like a rather organic next step for us that is bringing our art style to a new level. An aspect that was also personally very exciting to us is that with VR, we are achieving a fourth wall break between our viewers and us, and we create a real interaction. In the multiplayer theater, people can watch Kurzgesagt videos together in VR, and with the MR sandbox, they can bring objects from the experience into their home and they have another chance to get a more intuitive feeling about scales. So far, people could only watch our videos on a screen, which is a rather passive and distant way to engage with the content. With our products, we started letting people bring pieces of Kurzgesagt home with them. Now, with VR, they are diving into our universe and they get to know it as an immersive experience. Lastly, I would like to mention a matter that is relevant for us as a company, but also for our sector on a higher level. I talked about why we picked this story for VR, but why venture into VR at all? To us, learning something while you're being entertained, or rather, being entertained and learning something without really noticing it. This is what edutainment is all about. We think the immersive experience that is VR and MR is perfect to show how exciting science can be and to bring this realization into living rooms and classrooms alike. We also think that the natural transition of our existing audience into VR is highly possible. Our global community is very open not only to science but also to technical innovation and will be excited to dive deeper into the Kurzgesagt universe in a multi-sensory environment. We are proud and excited to bring Kurzgesagt to the next level with Out of Scale, a Kurzgesagt adventure, and hope you all will come along on this journey. Thank you for listening.